Peace my loves, how is everybody doing today? So I know it's been a super, super long time and there's been a lot of things. So I wanted to take the time today to do a life update and give y'all a little bit of information as far as what has all been going on, especially with us just having the Mercury retrograde. There was a lot of things that came up for me. A big part of my channel, of course, is I wanna be transparent with you all. I wanna tell you guys what goes on, what happens in the life of Bonnie. I want to keep it real and raw with y'all, okay? So I've always been challenged with income. Like prosperity, abundance has always been something that has challenged me. And I feel like, you know, based off of my upbringing, how I was raised, a lot of the times I didn't know and understand how to save money, how to invest in money. So during the retrograde, these hidden gems had like a brief pause of income. Anytime I have a brief pause on income, I look at it as another way to get creative, another way to open myself up to another form of income. So I did start dancing guys. And when I say dancing, I'm 100% just a dancer, like don't get me wrong, something I'm starting to realize within this industry is that some women are of course gonna do other things and who am I to judge? Like you gonna do what you do with your cootie cat, that's your cootie cat. But for me, it's like, I like to dance. I genuinely love to dance and of course, as you all know, I've been getting more into my sensuality and making myself more open to the divine feminine. Being in a club, working to get your money, flowing on the pole, like it's a whole art. And there's many techniques, there's many things that you have to learn, especially with being a baby stripper. Like there's so many ways where I feel as if I can learn. I want to always be a student in life because there was a point where I thought I knew everything, but baby, let me tell you, you do not know everything. You you can always learn something new. You can always go start a new hobby. So as y'all know, pole dancing 100% started as a hobby for me, but now it's becoming another stream of income. During the day, I do my motherhood activities. I do all the things for Visa and Gems, Visa Divine Visions, all that good jazz. And then at nighttime, what Frank Ocean say? She's working, working at, the at the pyramids tonight. tonight. Working, working at the at pyramids. The Get at the pyramids tonight. And baby, I feel free. Like, at first I had so much shame and guilt centered around it. And then I was like, baby, that's sacred chocolate work. Why do you feel like guilty? Why do you feel ashamed of the energy that the Most High has blessed you with? Sexual, sensual energy is a beautiful energy. They have tried to demonize it. They have tried to, you know, say what they say, whoop the whoop about it. But it's very healing. It's a very powerful energy when used correctly okay tantric sex all that good jazz like i can get into it in another topic video for another day i don't want to hold y'all for 10 15 20 minutes if i don't have to but if y'all are interested in more of that definitely check out my sensual flows classes i do have private courses available now for those who don't want to be in a group setting who just want to do one-to-ones so I do that virtually as well as face to face if you're in the nearby Greensboro area. If you guys haven't seen already, but I was an actual new live model for a beautiful artist by the name of Amaya Jones. This particular experience allowed me to tap more into my vulnerability, being free in nudity. How I feel the new body is art. It's 100% art. It is something that God, the most high source has blessed you with some you know different than others like there's so many different bodies that I'm starting to realize that are out there which is actually motivating me and inspiring for my next piece so definitely so many things to talk about guys let me know if y'all have any questions about the dancing industry if people feel as if they want to start dancing what questions may you have but I can honestly say it has taught me so many things in such a short time and I'm super grateful because it is really allowing me to see where am I awkward where can I work on my throat chakra because what scared money don't make money when you go into the club baby you can't be sitting there just being cute thinking the money just gonna come to you. No, you gotta work for your bread. That's something that Mercury Retrograde was teaching me is that scared money don't make money, baby. Like you really need to open yourself up to all, any possible income. Like for example, I didn't know that I was gonna be chosen for the opportunity for the new modeling gig. I was like, 
fuck it, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know, like I'm very big on sensual energy. I truly believe that sensual movement, sensual breath, tantric movement, tantric meditation can help you to unlock the powers of your womb, to unlock the powers of the divine feminine, to get you connected to self to love yourself to admire yourself to say i am that girl okay so guys this has truly been a lot okay and i'm not going to jam pack it into one video i'm definitely going to do like a series of updates life updates as we go on and maneuver like i even sold my first painting y'all like so many great things i sold another painting what day before yesterday so i'm definitely getting back into my artistry so we're gonna have more paint videos we're gonna have more technique videos like i'm feeling so inspired these days and i really just owe it all to the most high i fell flat on my ass during retrograde so i was down a little bit but y'all knew i was gonna come back y'all knew i was gonna come back so if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe ask your questions down below if y'all are interested in more of that definitely check out my sensual flows classes i do have private courses available now for those who don't want to be in a group setting who just want to do one-to-ones so i do that virtually as well as face-to-face -face if you're in the nearby greensboro area so many many things on the horizon i love you guys so much i'm not going to keep you here too long but i definitely want to give you guys a small update for all that is to come okay see you guys next time peace